Girl, look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, in this reaction video, what I will be talking about is about a 15-year-old who, who got pregnant at the age of 11 year old very very young i'm gonna let her tell you her story and i'm gonna give you some facts that and statistics as well in this reaction video let's get to it one second my name is Jalissa. i'm 15 and i have a three-year-old daughter um i got pregnant at 11 had my daughter at 12 my baby daddy was 15 I'll play that again, but I want you to just let that sink in. She got pregnant at 11 years old, had a baby at 12. Her baby daddy was 15 years old. This is just another classic example of what the older generation used to call babies having babies. Let's go. My name is Jalissa. I'm 15, and I have a three-year-old daughter. Um, I got pregnant at 11, had my daughter at 12. My baby daddy was 15, and I had her when he was 16 so a lot of people are saying that our age gap is four years it's not four years it's three years and a few months some people are saying five years it's three years um but yeah um he um his birthday is in september my birthday is in july i got pregnant this month four years ago so i was 11 but i turned 12 like literally two weeks later um but yeah he's 19 right now i'll be 16 in july july 8th and then he'll be 20 in september so yeah he's not 20 yet but he will be 20 soon so and i am about to be 16. i think we all can agree when i say that that's just entirely too young to have a child. See, this is what happens when you're not parenting a lot more than when you are. Yes, there's chances that your child, your daughter will still go out there and try to sneak to go behind the parents' back. That's just how it normally goes. But when you're 11 years old and you're pregnant and have a baby at 12, that would mean that you was out there sleeping around when you was 10 something years old. Do you get what I'm saying? Most likely you was around the tender ages of 10 and 11, between there, when you was already being promiscuous, promiscuous, excuse me. Now, this ain't unusual. There have been many cases, many stories of young children, that's what they are, babies, who are out there doing what grown folks do. She's not being watched over. Now, in order for her to be like that, you must let her have too much liberty. You must be allowing your daughter to have a lot of boyfriends, and I'm not talking about being in relationships. I'm talking about just boy crazy, letting her go wherever she wants to go, letting her stay with um, people who don't have any good principles. Sometimes you're dropping your daughter off because it's just convenient, because you want to go to the club and shake your thing like a musty back heifer. You might have your own little habits, such as popping pills, drinking, sniffing lines, you're the type of parent to just give your child an iPad or sit them down in front of a computer just so that they can um, leave you alone so you can do what you want to do. You're not paying attention to your child. You're not. There's no way that there's a child that is 10 or 11 years old does not have the brain, the brain capacity to be so manipulative that an adult cannot notice changes in that child's behavior or the fact that that child is doing something wrong at that age. You have to totally be ignoring your child for that to happen. Unless there's a situation where there's a parent coming in, not a parent, or it could be a parent, a family member, or friend that is, you know, touching her inappropriately. But this is not a case of that. This is a case of a young minor with another minor, an older minor at that, which kind of shows that he has some kind of a, a proclivity to being a pervert himself if he was 15 while she was 11. 
You get what I'm saying? Let me put some statistics, some statistics on the screen, and then we're gonna get back to what she's gonna tell you is how her parents and her step parent reacted to the fact that she was knocked up at 12 or 11. Okay, let's get to the statistic first. Now, as you see on the screen, it says by maternal age, provisional birth rates declined for several age groups, including teenagers between ages 15 and 19. For this group, the rate in 2023 was 13.2 births per 1,000 females, down 3% from the rate of 13.6 per 1,000 in 2022. Another record low for that age group. And this came out April 24th of 2024. And the source that I'm citing from is the ABC News. ABC News. Go.com. Just because now, just because it done went down by 3%, does not excuse this behavior it does not make it okay do you understand because this is targeting minors between the age of 15 and 19 years old do you get what i'm saying but the thing is this gun this youngster that we're talking about on the screen right now was 11 years old this is sickening man now this was going on when i was a kid you know you always had these young girls who were kind of fast whatever you, always, you already had those type of things but to be that young of an age and to be caught up with a pregnancy lets you know that the parent was totally irresponsible. Totally. There's no way. And you can't really put the blame on that 11-year-old because that's an 11-year-old child. Okay? That's, when you're 11, you can be told to do anything. I mean, you really can. I mean, when I say that for a, a, especially a, a young girl, because your emotions are all over the place. You could be lied to and manipulated like that. Anyway, and it was a single mom, by the way, just to let you know. We're going to get into that. I'm going to prove that to you, too. Let me go ahead and put the rest of the story on there. Let's get it, y'all. Hold on. I'll put it up on your screen. Now, listen to this, man. My name's Lisa. I'm 15. I have a three-year-old daughter, and this is my parents' reactions to me being pregnant at 11 and 12. I have this before, but I'm going to, like, go more into detail. Um... I had told my mom like right after I found out. And so I was still, I think I, I had just turned 12. Like literally we celebrated my birthday after I found out. Like that's how soon, like I had just turned 12. And I missed my, like before I knew I was pregnant, I missed my period. Me, my mom, and my stepmom, cause my mom. So, so we would all get our periods at the same time. Like we would have it in order. Like I don't remember how it was, but like my stepmom would get it, my mom would get it, I would get it. Like, but just in a different order. Um, and mine didn't come. Like, it just, my mom was like, where's your period? Like, what's going on? So, I had got, once I found out, like, I got the little app on my phone, like, where, you, where it shows you, like, how far the baby is, whatever. And I had tried to kind of show my stepmom, like, in the car, like, she was taking me to my grandma's house in the morning to do the summertime, like, during COVID or whatever. It wasn't really summer, but it was, like, during COVID. And so she was taking me to my grandma's in the morning. And I would try to like show her on the phone, like the little things so she would see it. And like, she would be like, are you pregnant? Cause I didn't want to say it, but I ended up telling my stepmom first. Like, and she was like, you got to tell your mom. She's like, what? Is, Cause she had her kid at 15 and she was like, or no, 14. And she was pregnant at 13. And she's like, what? Think about what she just said. The woman that she is confiding herself to, which is her 13, I mean, her stepmother. Is telling her to go ahead and tell her real mother that she's pregnant because she herself was a person of a teenage pregnancy. She was pregnant at 13 years old herself. Just two years older than what she was. Do you understand this? This is sick. This is wrong. All right. It's wrong. And what you have is a bunch of children who grow up missing their childhoods. I'm not saying that they can't survive. I'm not saying that they can't be successful because a lot of these children who have come from those situations, who are living functional lives, but there's still something missing in them. A lot of times when they come up that way, they have to grow up faster. They become grown quicker. And the thing is, not all of these type of women, if you want to call them, I'm going to call them minors, because they were minors then. Not every one of these minors who get pregnant have a support system. Some minors, if they get pregnant, they have their mamas and their grandmothers, their grandparents, their grandfather, their daddy, perhaps, to fall back on, to help them. Because they're not equipped mentally. They're not equipped financially to raise a child 
when they're 11 years old, 12 years old, 13 years old. Some of them have that. But then you have cases where some of them do not have any of those things that I've just mentioned. And they struggle. They start to turn to prostitution. They start to sell drugs. They start to do other things to get money, to get by. Because at 11, you're not even old enough yet to go work yourself. Sometimes they, they I'm telling you, they prostitute themselves for favors. They do a lot of stuff at that age. They beg the government for help. They do a whole lot of things because now they have no choice. They don't have no choice but to grow up quicker than they should. So they don't have no childhood anymore. They never experienced childhood. So when they have their children, their children begin to grow and start to need things like childhood things. They don't know how to relate. They don't know how to teach them. They don't know how to nurture them in a way that a mother would nurture a child who has already had their childhood. They can't even relate to them. As being a child because they didn't have a chance to be a child. Do you understand what I'm saying here? But let's keep going. What did you do? Like, why would you have a kid? Like, why would you get pregnant? Like, what? Like, what were you thinking? Like, you're so young, you have to have an abortion. Like, she's like, you've got to have an abortion. Like, there's no way you can keep baby. Like, you're so young. And she was like, you've got to tell your mom. Like, she because I told her at first, was like, don't like, I'm gonna tell you something. Don't tell nobody. Don't make me tell my mom. And she was like, you've got to tell your mom. I'm sorry. Like, I promise you, you've got to tell your mom. And so we got, like, on the way home or whatever, um, I was crying. I was scared. And we ended up, like, going inside. And she was, like, off rip. Like, she was like, I'm not going to make you tell her. Like, I'm going to let you. She was like, I'm going to let you wait and tell her, like, when you're ready. But you need to tell her by tonight or, like, by tomorrow. As soon as we stepped in that door, she said, your daughter has something to tell you. Like, she needs to tell you something. And I was like, oh, God. So I'm freaking out. I don't want to tell her. Like, I'm scared because what? Like, I'm scared as shit. Oh, I'm just about to beat my off. ass. Um, so I ended up, um, I, like, sat down with her or whatever on the couch. I'm sitting on one couch. She's sitting on the other because I'm like, on uh -uh, this girl about to jump from couch to couch to come beat me. She didn't. But I pulled out. I was like, I got to tell you something. She's like, tell me, like, what is it? Don't scare me. I pull up says she's like, you're pregnant. And I sure said, so I'm like, yes. I think, I want to say I started crying, but I think I was so scared. I don't even know for real, but I, I remember I was scared as shit. She didn't say nothing. She just went silent and she didn't talk to me for a few days. Like, it was bad. I was, my my mom is scary. Like, you look on my page, I got videos of her. Like, she looks scary. To me, she's scary. And she like, she works on boats and stuff. She like, she could fight like a man. I was scared. I thought she was going to my ass. For real. Like, uh-uh. I was scared. But, yeah. And then, he were asked about my dad. Me and my dad really don't. Sorry. Me and my dad, we really don't talk. But when I ended up telling him, I was already showing. And I basically just told him, I was like, when you see me, like, I'm going to have to tell you, like, something before you see me. Because if you see me, you're going to, like, you're going to freak out. And he was like, mind you, he had just had a baby. He had my my younger yeah. brother. He had just had my little brother, so they're in the hospital, and I'm like, I don't want to talk to you right now about it because like you just had a baby, whatever. Your wife, just had, your girlfriend just had a baby. I don't want to like, you know what I mean? Stress you out, nothing like that. So I was like, we'll talk about it later. He knew. He told my son, "You're pregnant. Like, are, are am I having a grandkid? Like, what are you talking about?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "I'm sorry." And he like, mind you, we don't need much talk. So it's like, I really didn't care what he thought. He went he went in on me. He had a lot to say, but yeah, I I wish I'd text messages, but I don't even know if I still have them. So, but he he had a lot to say, and I I wouldn't post them anyways because I don't want y'all. Um, I'm sparing them, but um, yeah. So that was their reactions, and then I also had to tell my grandparents. Well, my mom told my grandparents, but they had a reaction too. So if y'all want a video about my grandparents' reactions, cause my grandma's the one who raised me. And my grandpa, like, they really raised me for us, so that's another story for another time. Let me tell you something, that kind of tell you what happened there, because sometimes when you find these um, daughters, or even boys, when they raise their grandparents, them grandparents be elderly. That's how it used to be back in the day. Now, you're a grandparent at 32, you're a grandparent at 15, damn, they seem like, but, you know, back in the day, they'd be about 56 years old. So, what I'm assuming is, and this is just my point of view, my theory, is that them grandparents was one of them older grandparents who couldn't keep up with the child that couldn't um monitor everything that the child was doing you, you get what i'm saying she couldn't mount because she was just they were just too old you know what i mean so she was out and about 
running the streets at 11 years, at 10. At 10, around little boys and all that stuff like that. If she had good grandparents, they would not allow that young girl to be around boys. They said them boys are mannish. That's an old school term. Mannish meaning that they come on, you know, try to get at you. They freaky, whatever like that. Nasty, whatever type of thing. Then they want to get your booty. So they would have kept her from that. You get what I'm saying? So I think that's kind of what happened in her case, to be honest with you. Not too sure. Don't quote me on it because I don't even know. But that's what it feels like for me. All right. let me. This lady here is going to give you a reaction to everything that you just heard. So let's get it girl who got pregnant at 12 or 11 and her baby daddy was 15 which means she's 15 now and he is 18 and they got a three-year-old the whole situation just don't sit right with me you can just tell that little mama being grown in her head for a long time somebody should have put her in a child's place a long time ago then yeah. she goes on to say she don't remember if his mama or his family came to the gender reveal or the baby shower and it's just like that's a lot to take in and like just imagine at 11 12 planning a baby shower 11 12 even thinking of a gender reveal like and then just the the normalness she's making that situation it's just like somebody should have set her down a long time ago she's been growing her head a long time not to mention she said that the baby daddy didn't come around like that because of jail or going to jail he was scared it's just like it, you should have been scared there's a lot of stuff that you should have been scared about like telling the truth she ain't said nothing wrong it's crazy imagine planning a gender reveal at 11 years old and like she was talking as if that's a normal thing it really ain't normal there's something wrong with that y'all you know what i'm saying but anyway as i always say let me know what y'all think about this um content in the comments I'll be getting at y'all pretty soon. Y'all take it easy now. You hear?